What's going on Spartans? Welcome back and today we have a special Day in the Life of King episode and let's start out by saying I am very proud of this right here. Here's my laboratory and I am completely maxed out guys. Everything in my lab is finally maxed. The last thing I had to do was my free spell and we just completed that so I'm really pumped up about that. Now I'm at 3395 as you can see and my troops are built so we're ready to attack. We'll go ahead and show you some replays. Oops, we uh, just went ahead and clicked revenge. Or uh, replay for a defense. <laughs> anyway, let's go back and show an attack I did. Actually, let's show a loss. I rarely lose. I lost a couple times in the last like week, though. It's been really bad. And as you can see here, we are attacking a pretty high-level base. It's very well made, and I'm using what is Quatra Go Wipe. Now, that's four golems. It's a bunch of wizards and eight wall breakers and six archers. And pretty much you just do the same thing you do a go win, but you uh, have two P.E.K.K.A.s, which is pretty interesting. And as you can see, I'm trying to wall break into the center. I'm going to speed it up for you guys. This is a crazy raid for two reasons. I failed, number one, and number two, I should not have failed. You'll see why in a second. Now, this Lava Hound is actually holding my queen's attention, and now my queen's distracted. And she should have shot this guy already, but she ignored him and walked into the base, so I enraged her. My king is going after his king, so I enrage him. And here we go. He crushes him. And now he starts hitting the town hall. Now, whoops. Now, let's go ahead and freeze it right here. Hold on a second here. Now, my queen is going to be distracted by these skeletons. And my king is going after this town hall. So, let's see how much he can kill it. And the queen is still... Hold on. Freeze. God, I waited too long. Anyway, so the king's about to die. But he'll probably get one more stroke in there to kill that town hall. But he's not going to kill it. But look how little health it has left. Now, my queen, instead of actually shooting anything around her, actually she killed all the skeletons. She actually decides to go shoot this guy. Now, I thought for sure she could have shot him from anywhere inside that wall. She could have, like, you know, walked there or here or anywhere, anywhere inside that box and shot the stupid lava pup. So instead, she's going to go around this wall. And I'm like, all right, fine. You're going to go around the wall to shoot him? Fine. But here's where I get really mad. She continues around that wall instead of walking toward him. Continues walking all the way around the outside of the base. At this point, she now, did you see how far away she was? She was further away when she aimed at the Lava Pup outside the secondary wall than she was when she was inside the center of the base. Now, she finally gets to the Lava Pup and kills it, and now she's going to screw the whole attack up because the king died with like 0.1% health on the town hall, and now I had to use the invisibility of the queen, and she is dead now, and I do not get the town hall or the 50%. So terrible raid on my part, but we're going to go ahead and skip this, and we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next raid. All right, so... We got one more right here on screen, and as you can see, this one's a little bit different. Kind of a strange base, one I wouldn't normally recommend you attack with this force, but I've gotten pretty decent with it, and I am spreading those wizards out to destroy the outside buildings so that my P.E.K.K.A.s don't get distracted once I wall break in, and now the heroes and wall breakers and P.E.K.K.A.s and clan castle get dropped so they can go into the center of the base, and as you can see, the queen is being stupid and walking the outside, but she does go in, which I'm lucky about. Now, the wall breakers get through that secondary wall there. And, unfortunately, this golem is going back on in the inside, so the wizard's going to die. However, I have a ton of archers and wizards and stuff right here. And, hopefully, hopefully, these P.E.K.K.A.s and golems will hold that Inferno Tower in place so I don't lose all my secondary troops. Now, I'm going to enrage them and absolutely destroy the center of this base. And, as you can see, the Town Hall is down 38% and clearing the entire center without much of a problem. Gotta love that. And here we go. The queen is going for that expo. Hopefully they can take out this. Yep, they got it. Cool. That's the good news. The queen is going to get the easy 50% now. She's got nothing that can really kill her before she gets all of this 50. And hopefully a lot of loot. Now, this golem is taking a ton of hits for her. As you can see, they got two golems there. Uh, a couple, it looks like a couple of golemites actually in a golem. But anyway, the queen is going into this loot. And these archer towers are unable to kill that golem before she kills everything around her. And now, she gets another storage. So, super, super awesome. This is why golems rock, guys. Because they are taking all the hits for our queen. And as you can see, the queen's going to help them out. And they are going to die pretty soon. However, they're still taking a few last-minute hits. And I'm going to freeze these just so no one dies. And I do want my golemite to survive long enough to keep continuing taking the hits from that mortar. Obviously, I want to be able to use my queen's ability. 
and I have to worry about all our archers dying. And here we go. Now, the queen starts getting hit here, unfortunately, and I invis her just to go ahead and save her. And then she gets through this wall, but gets distracted by these, of course, these skeletons, and goes to work on these mines. Now, she only gets about a couple of them, and I could have gone for the 70%, but not really feeling like losing the entire health of my queen, so I called it there at 68%. 11 trophies, 3,000 dark, 200,000 of each. Pretty solid, especially since I get another 200,000 of each for being in champions. Now, we're going to move on one last raid, and here it is. We are going to kill this base. Now, this is a spiral base, which a lot of people do not attack and do not like to attack because it is very deceiving. And, of course, your troops do kind of weird things because the walls are not normal. There's a lot of openings and there's a lot of trap areas. Now, I did split my golems up to two groups of two and sent the P.E.K.K.A.s one way. I'm going to lightning in a second right here, take out that clan castle for the most part. The wizards behind them should be able to save the rest or take the rest out. Wow, they are taking forever Man, the wizards aren't doing anything. That's unfortunate. I guess the queen's going to have to do it. Anywho, who cares? These golems and pekkas are working up the right side of this base and destroying it. I threw an archer down to try and take out this pump because I do not want it to be a factor later on. And the king and queen are distracted. Hopefully, with this free spell, I can buy them a little bit of time, drop a rage spell on them, and destroy the center of this base. Now, I'm going to rage the king right here and get an easy kill on the town hall without much of a problem. The golem decided to jump in and have some fun in there, and he is going to take the hits from those Teslas and Expos, which is good because it saves my queen a lot of health. Now, the queen is distracted, and she is going to unfortunately continue to take hits here, so I'm going to have to her any second now. But we already got the two stars, which is very good, and here we go. Unfortunately, I didn't get to save my archers that came off the queen when she went invisible, but we did a solid job there, and I dropped a few archers down behind this P.E.K.K.A., and we're going to speed it up and find out if we get to 65%. We're not going to, guys, unfortunately. 63 is all we're going to get. But a pretty solid raid. Two-star at about 3,400 trophies. Uh, just below it, actually. But this is the last raid I did. And let's do one live raid for you guys. Actually, I decided we're going to do one live. So let's have fun with that. And here we go. We're going to search up. If it takes too long, we are going to uh, you know, cut it and continue on searching. However... I am not too worried about that. Hopefully, only a few searches and we'll be able to pick off a decent one. Uh, 17. I hate this base, guys. This is the worst base ever. It is so deceiving. I will never attack it again. I lost so many times to it. Oh, man. It's the only base that kills me. Like, I get wrecked by that base. It's terrible. Anyway, we are going to continue searching and I'll be right back. All right, guys. Look like we found a decent base to attack. Uh, you know what? I don't know if I want to attack this one, though. Not a ton of loot. And nothing really special about it. I'm just really bored of searching. You know, I'm going to continue searching, guys. Sorry. All right. So, actually, the next search is a super high-level base. Now, it doesn't have a lot of trophies or anything, but I do want to attack it just because it is an impressive base to attack. And I want to do something that you guys will enjoy. So, let's get right into it, yeah? Here we go. Just dropping down some troops, as you can see. Taking care of the outside of this base real quick. And in a second here, I will drop down my wall breakers. And we're going to rage these guys in here. So hopefully, hopefully with the right bit of help, these guys can go to town and get to the center of this base without too much trouble. Let's wall we're up. There we go. Jump spells in and we are golden. And another rage spell right there. We should have this in the bag. As long as this clan castle doesn't completely screw us. But it shouldn't because I am not going to let it. Now, we're going to drop that. Oh, shoot. What the fuck? What just happened? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait here because I just messed up and couldn't drop my free spell and my king died. So that was bad news. We're going to try and uh, wait out this Tesla, though. Hopefully, the queen can. What the? F what is she doing? No. There we go. Alright, so I got a little worried there. She was being stupid and she wasn't paying attention. She could have got everyone killed. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm goofy. Anyway, here we go. We're going to use this free spell to actually save this Golemite's life because we do want to obviously allow for my troops to kill this Dark Elixir. Hopefully his wizard actually shoots before he gets killed and he does, but we don't get all of it due to the fact they were too slow. Anyway, we're going to drop one... Actually, you know what? We could drop a couple more troops. We could drop one right... Where can I get the most percentage points? One here. 
And where can I get the most, guys? Tell me. Tell me what your opinion is right now. I think the best place to put it is over here. But we'll see. Anyway. Um, yeah, these guys are pretty out of range. It looks like we're gonna get like two, three, four percentage of points more, which is pretty decent. I'm gonna let that play out though. Very maxed out base. And we did a pretty good job on it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Definitely stay tuned for the next episode, guys. And I will see you then. But make sure to comment below. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already and all that good stuff. And we're going to call the battle right here, guys. And that is a 43% win. Are we going to get another building? Looks like we would have got another building, but I'm going to call it there. Have a good one. Peace.